Sometimes they say the best roadside attractions are no roadside attractions. Because today I'm far, far, far away from the city life, the hustle and bustle. I figured, what the heck? Let's make a roadside trail an attraction. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a roadside trail today. The Black River Valley Trail. Seems to start off pretty doggone nice. En route up to Bismarck, North Dakota from North Carolina, there really isn't too much to see and do when you're in an oversized vehicle like myself. So you have to take advantages when they, when they happen. And right now I'm in the middle of Wisconsin and there's really not too much for someone that drives something like I do. I'm, there's, there's really nothing. If you have a car, motorcycle, motorhome, yeah, there's quite a bit. But you drive a really oversized vehicle, it's, it's hard. And it's really not too bad to get back to nature. You can hear the birds tweeting, the squirrels jumping from tree to tree. It's pretty beautiful. Just getting out of the truck and walking up this steep incline makes you feel alive. It, it, it makes you feel alive. Well, it, I guess it would if I was walking, but I, I'm not walking. Y you guys know that, right? I was. Well. Yeah, I, I'd probably be tired by now. I don't think I picked a perfect day to do this trek, this half a mile long journey. I, I think that's all the journey is. It's like a half a mile up the side of a cliff. Well, it's not really a cliff neither. It's kind of a hill, but we're pretty high up. Yeah, I'm not making this sound any more enjoyable, am I? For you backpackers and stuff out there. Yeah, this is definitely not one of those hard to get to places but it's definitely an out of the way place something that i don't do very often because most of the time i'm at an old town of some kind whether it's metropolis illinois point pleasant west virginia or the north swamps of florida which this is very reminiscent of now Look at this. Oof. Look how beautiful that is. Wisconsin in the spring. Doesn't get much more beautiful. Like right here on this bend, we're going over a gorge of some kind. I am actually pretty high up in the air. Hoping this boardwalk could handle my weight. I think I hear a deer. There's a deer up there somewhere. I hear it rustling through the leaves. There's more over here somewhere. see him. There is definitely large game up there though. I oh. Yeah, can't see him. But I do hear him rustling around walking through all those leaves. Amazing shot if those deer just walked down here underneath this bridge thing that I'm standing on and went on down that hill. That would be awesome. But I don't think they're going to do it. 
Oh, I'll just let them be. Do whatever they're doing up there and continue on the trek. On this journey. To the end of the boardwalk. As I move further down, I hear them. They're even louder. I think they were waiting for me to leave that corner down there. Because they may be planning to cruise on down this hill. I think there's a whole herd of deer getting ready to go underneath, you know where it's kind of high over here? I think there's a whole herd of deer getting ready to come down. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Think, they think I'm a witch because I'm on a Segway. It's not a broom, it, it, it's a Segway. But supposedly when you get to the end of this boardwalk, there's supposed to be a fantastic overlook where you can see the natural forest in northern Wisconsin. And wow, this vista does not disappoint. Will you guys take a look at that. Being up here, it's almost as good as flying a drone. Come on, you, you, you know I gotta fly my drone from here, right? guys that that should make for some pretty fantastic photography and aerial footage i did bring the spark i did not bring my mavic pro just because the spark's a little bit more portable i could carry con the controller the phone and the drone all in one hand so it just, it just makes it a little bit easier and, so, and i really i don't even need the controller or the phone i could just bring the drone itself but i like to kind of line up the shots professional like and and that's been working out really really well not anyway this is kind of a nice way to take a 30 minute lunch break coming up here and exploring something like this yesterday was pretty amazing i was in point pleasant and checked out the flood wall and the art that astoons all the outside of the flood wall and today i'm in wisconsin checking out kind of a nature trail through the Wisconsin forest. Who knows what Bismarck, North Dakota is gonna hold, but we're gonna find out. Before we do that, I have to get back to the truck, pack all this stuff up, and continue on down the road. So from the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, I'm gonna bid you a fair adieu. I still hear those deer up there. Or it could be just a crazy oversized squirrel if you like my videos and are new to this channel please consider subscribing by hitting that link below uh, if you are a constant viewer and stuff like that and you appreciate everything i do and you want to donate to the cause a little bit to 
roadside attraction goodness. There's a Patreon link below and a YouTube buddy. Just in case you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you might want to think about subscribing to YouTube buddy. It does make things a little bit easier. I mean, check out my thumbnail. It's almost professional, right? Uh, okay, probably not. But if you do think about it and uh, the videos are worth a Snickers bar a month, think about donating. If not, it's all it's all good. I'm happy with it. Love you all anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm just happy that you guys like and subscribe. Look at that. Now that looks like a deer trail. Hey guys, I am out of here. So until the next one, I love you all. I, I can't do the peace sign. I, I can't do the peace sign today. But but I could say it. Peace out.